I don't know, I don't know. What is up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D and today we're out here at Pensacola Beach. I got Scott down here in the back with me. He's been talking about taking the kayaks offshore for a while now. We finally actually get a chance to do it. We got some winds coming out of the north only at about 8 miles per hour right now. It's supposed to pick up to about 10 but it's a north wind so it causes the beach to lay down flat for us. So we're going to go offshore to some artificial reefs. If you guys want, stick around and let's go fishing. Scott's already taken off without me, but we're gonna get packed up and get going. All right, guys, we are out here. We are headed to some artificial reefs offshore. Right now, I'm just distracted by all the bait that I saw. I think it's moving west towards uh, the Pensacola Beach Pier, which is still down, but the Three Mile Bridge is open. Finally, as you guys can see in the footage earlier, the Three Mile Bridge is now officially open. It is Memorial Day weekend, and they, they opened it just in time for that. It goes from two lanes into one on both sides. And then uh, there are deputies right there, just in case anybody decides to speed or do something stupid and cause an accident. But I'm gonna put this lure away. We'll get kicking and start moving offshore or see if we can't catch some live bait. I do have some frozen cigs. Got them from Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle. So clutch, such a clutch bait shop right there before you go fishing out here. But anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. We'll get up with Scott and see what he wants to do. Let's go. Scott just got on the board with a fresh Bonita. Hopefully we can get hooked up. We got one out the back. All right, guys, I got a king duster here. Well, a king leader with a fresh dead cigar minnow. It's frozen. And uh, something just ate off my other cigar minnow on a king duster. We're marking fish around here. So I'm gonna send this guy out and uh, hopefully there's fish, suspended fish. Let me just send this guy off. We're in 80 foot, 72 foot of water. We're on, baby. I don't know. It's, fight, it's fighting like a snapper. Fighting like a snapper. Yeah, red snapper. Yep. Got us a snapper. He is not in season. We'll, we'll uh, release that hook from him and get a, get a release on him. Man, that D hooker worked like a charm. If you guys don't have one of these and you go somewhere like snapper fishing, you gotta have one of these D hookers. What it does is it grabs that hook like that and then you can just twist it or push, push it in or whichever way that hook needs to go, gets it right out. 
All right, let's get a release on this guy. There he is, and there he goes. Straight down. Awesome. If you guys haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. We're going to get back to it. I'm getting eight. Getting eight. Not sure what that was, but I was def I definitely got destroyed. Got picked up for a second there, guys. Which is weird because I got King Leader with a stinger. Stinger hook on the back and I'm getting eight again. Oh, he's taking off. He's taking off. And he dropped it. All right, Flipper just showed up as usual. He's right on time. But we're gonna keep on fishing. They're gonna be trying to take our, our fish every time we try and pull one up. So we're gonna have to put some stank on them if we wanna get them up, get them in the boat. Cause now we're competing with Flipper. And I'm, I'm on. Nope. Something was just holding it. Oh. Oh my God. He right next to you? There went one right there. He won't eat that. They're smarter than that. Snapper. American red, baby. Oh, you gonna be a good Oh man, he did. He did too. Oh yeah. That's a keeper there. Same size as the last. Second red snapper. Same size. Probably be legal if he was in season. We got about. Oh, we got two days. Okay. For red snapper. Yeah. Two more days and he'd be legal. All right, another bait going out. See what happens. Hopefully we don't get another snapper. I'm using this fly line to keep from dropping straight to the bottom because that's typically where those snapper hang out. So with this fly line, that's gonna keep me afloat and maybe get something that's suspended. We're showing suspended fish on top and fish all on bottom. And typically the snapper will shy away from a king leader because of that steel wire, but they're so aggressive that they're just eating it anyways. Oh. Oh, Dina hit something real. Oh, yes, sir. That might be a flavor there. See what we got here, guys. I think Flipper just got me. I think so. Pretty positive flipper just got me. Nah, flipper came and upgraded me. Yeah. Flipper came and got him. There he is right there. Unfortunately, flipper came and got my fish. The one thing we were hoping that didn't happen but they are hungry too and they gotta eat. I'm gonna have to cut this line here soon. I'm gonna go try and catch up and see if I can get some of this line back. <sighs> it's very unfortunate. He's swimming to me. He may have let my fish go. Oh no, he's right here. 
He's right here under me. All right. Yep. You guys see him right there? He's going straight towards Scott right now. There he is. There's a whole pod of them. While they're beautiful to look at and watch them play, it's no fun whenever they hook up to you and take your fish and then you got to worry about trying to get your line back. And even worse, you don't want to leave that hook in there. But we're going to get back tied up. We're going to get back to fishing. Let's go. Picked up. This might be a snapper. No, Flipper, no, no. Woo! Big snapper, or big Flipper just tried to get him. Eat him right here. Dolphins are right there, dude. Flip him in, flip him in. Look at all the air they just let up. There he is. Holy shit. Nice. Look at the dolphins, guys. They are going crazy. Well, it's unfortunate, but we can't keep him. We got to drop him back in. And there's a bunch of dolphins down there. So, hey, good luck, buddy. He's going down. Oh, there he goes. He's going after him. I don't know if he made it, boys. I think I Flipper know. got him. I don't think he made the cut. I don't think he made it either. Hey, nothing I can do there. I didn't feed him this time. Look at this guy, dude. Oh, look at this. oh my God, he's going insane. Oh, no. Come on, look. Oh my God. This guy's going crazy. Oh my God. Snapper, bro. Whoa. Dude's like eight foot in the air, bro. Oh, what? Oh, God, Are you kidding me? Bro! Dude, that's sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this right now. <laughs> what in the world? Bro! Dude, this should go viral, bro. This has gotta go viral. What is this camera? I've never seen anything like that, bro. This dude is going nuts. That was sick. We've been battling with these dolphins for like an hour or so trying to get fish off the bottom. This guy just came up putting on a show. Nuts. I've never seen nothing like it. Only at SeaWorld. We're out here in the Gulf of Mexico, baby. <laughs> ah, get in here. Guys, these fish are so abundant, it's crazy. I mean, you don't even have to travel far offshore to catch these fish, to get your lemon and come on back home. We're gonna measure this guy just to see where he's at because uh, two days from now, this guy would be going in the cooler and home into the grease. Let's get him unhooked. This guy's gonna go. He's only 15. I think they gotta be 18. He released himself. Scott's got these trigger fish chummed up. They're literally coming and eating right at right at the boat. Oh my god, that's sick, dude. They're everywhere. That's sick. Dude, you, oh you gotta come see this, bro. Come right there at the top, dude. Got some big snapper under there too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a mangrove, dude. Now, the cool thing about when you get them chummed up like this, 
is you can literally flip a bait out and they'll come up after it. And if you don't want that fish to eat your bait, all you gotta do is just pull it away from them. Snapper. Nice snapper. It's one of them tanks, dude. It's one of them tanks. Look at that. Size of that snapper. It's one of the biggest snapper we've caught all day. Let's get this guy unhooked. Look at the size of this snapper, guys. That is a tank. Let's get a measurement on him. Boys, 18 and a half. 18 and a half, guys. All right, guys, let's get a release on this guy. Woo! See ya. Woo! If you haven't already, be sure to like, subscribe, comment tell me what you think let's get back to it dang dude that dude picked it up runny trigger trigger you said 15 he got a mangrove! Yes, dude, I'm fucking telling you. Oh my mangrove. god! That's what I'm telling you, bro. Bro! First trigger. He's of some decent size. Come on, baby, make the cut. 14 and a half. 14 and a half, guys, on that trigger fish. He's a beautiful one. But he's just too short. Let's let him go. Woo! Let's go! He went with a bang! We're out here sight casting red snapper and mangrove snapper. We're talking about the offshore gulf size mangrove snapper. Not those little guys we were catching the other day. We're talking about some tanks. Holy crap, dude. I want one of those so bad. Big, big, big rat snapper. Yeah. Dang. Did he break me? All right, guys. We have retied. We're just going with a free line. And this is just a 30 pound mono leader with a swivel and a five aught, five aught circle hook. That's an owner hook. And the reason I switched it up is because these fish are kind of shying away from the uh, steel leader that I had on from this morning. I was still getting hooks, hookups with red snappers and trigger. They're not shy at all, but we're going after those mangrove snapper. Big, big mangrove snapper down there. We're getting them chummed up. They're coming right up to the boat and uh, they, they shy away because they're a little bit more smart. They're a little, a little more timid and uh we need to try and figure them out because scott's caught one ben's caught one all i've caught is red snapper and trigger fish so let's see if we can't turn the tide and make something happen all right guys it took us a while but we finally got the right flavor that we've been looking for look at the size of this mangrove snapper let me get him unhooked and I'll show him to you guys. All right, guys, there he is. A nice mangrove snapper. We're gonna get a measurement on this guy. All right, tip of the nose. Ooh, he's getting feisty. He's trying to bite now. All right, tip of the nose, about 17 inches. 
just under 17. A beautiful, beautiful fish. He's going in the cooler. Ow! So the crazy thing is, is that we've been, we've been trying to target these fish all day long. And the problem we're having is having to sip through the red snapper as well as the trigger fish. Those guys are super aggressive. They're going to eat anything you drop down there. These mangrove snapper, on the other hand, they're a little bit more uh, skittish and they think twice about what they're going to eat. We've been having to downsize our rigs way, way down. I'm using a uh, 20 pound monofilament leader with a uh, pretty small uh, octopus hook. You know, you think you're going to get broken off, but you just got to risk it all to try and get these fish. So let's see if we can get another one, guys. Let's go. <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a red. Dude, they were like, they were, they were, they were fighting over who was gonna get it. This is a big red snapper, I see him. Another big red snapper. See you, buddy. Just caught a pretty big trigger fish. Let's hope he makes the cut. On oh God, he's 15. Check this out, guys. From one, all right, all the way on him, right at the fork. That's 15 inches, bro. He's coming home. He's coming home. Coming home, tell the world he's coming home. Oh I think it's time we head in. It's starting to kick up. Now he's fighting like a little Spanish. Got something to hit the Yozuri on the way in. Nice Spanish. Oh no, it's a bonita. Well guys, there you have it. A nice little offshore trip. Uh, man, it's been a while and I'm so glad to be able to get back out there as you guys can see the three mile bridge is back up and running So that's a huge plus for us Pensacola people us Gulf Breeze people and hopefully We can get them back up and running with the businesses because they're struggling to find employees and really just trying to get staffed up so uh, They can tend to those tours that are coming here for the summer and the hotter months, but anyways we were able to get offshore. We were able to get on a lot of red snapper, caught a few mangrove snapper out there, and just one keeper size trigger fish. It was all in the day's work, and I'm glad I got to do it. Anyways, I hope you guys like the content, and if you haven't done me this favor already, uh, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're at 8,000 subs now, and I can't be more thankful. Uh, when you guys like and when you guys subscribe to the channel, it really helps you to push the channel further because it just pushed me right into the algorithm. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, I appreciate you watching. As always, I'm Vitamin D for Vitamin D TV, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.